Coming up on Mountain News this morning, flood impacted businesses in our region experience a jump in foot traffic after they reopened their doors. And a group of Eastern Kentucky kids get some hands on learning as they were taught all about fire safety by first responders. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News this morning. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday. It's almost five o'clock. I'm Dakota Makris. Thanks so much for waking up with us. And if y'all happen to open up your front door or something, it's cold out there this morning. Let's head over to Brandon for a look at our forecast. Brandon, my car had some frost on it this morning. Listen, I actually remember it, and I, here's how yeah. I did it. I actually put the key in the place where I would see it pretty quickly as I started getting dressed. Right. And I start I remote started my car this morning. Like it's pretty chilly out there. Yeah. I bet there's some frost, and there was. So there we go. That's what I start doing every day, I guess. Just put it in a location that I, you know, that, oh, I got, I got a remote start my car. All right, let's get into the forecast this morning because we are in the 20s in a lot of areas. There's a few 30s out there. Moorhead, Jackson, Prestonsburg, and that's it. Everybody else is basically below, well, everybody's below freezing, but a lot of folks are below the 30-degree mark. Uh, 20s and even 21 in Clintwood right now, so they may be in the teens here for too long. So it's a little bit more on the cool side. It's a little extra to max where we need it on your coffee meter this morning as you head out the door. Speaking of, or your forecast today, sun and clouds. You may see more than one of the other at times today, but I do think it's going to be a mild day as we get into the 50s this afternoon, mid 50s at that. But changes are coming. Have one more mild day after today, and again, things will start to pick up toward the end of the week. More on that in just a little bit. Dakota? All right, Brennan, thank you. Well, some businesses in the region that were uh, flooded in July have finally reopened. Our Chandler Wilcox talked with some business owners about how things are going more than five months later. Business for one Letcher County flower shop is blooming. And my customers are excited when they come in and I get a lot of phone in, phone calls, but they come in, pay their bill, they, they're all excited how the place looks. And it's, well, well, you see how it looks. It looks a lot better and a lot different, don't it? Like Emory Mullins, Scott Burris said the Isom Community Pharmacy is also beginning to return to business as usual. Once we, once we did get open again, business picked up pretty quickly. I don't think we're 100% to where we were prior to the flood, but we're pretty close to that, and just uh, which is a good thing because it helps service the people in this area of the county. Pharmacies rely on doctors to write prescriptions, which has slowly increased recently. The clinic right next door to us was uh, flooded as well. Uh, luckily, they are part of a bigger organization, so they could have their other providers call in prescriptions. Even as business gets better each week, fears of another flood still linger in the back of their minds. It could very well do it any time. You know, this weather's changing a lot mm -hmm. here in eastern Kentucky, and yes, it could very well happen any time. Despite those fears, however, the sound of a doorbell or smell of the roses is as refreshing as ever. In Letcher County, Chandler Wilcox, WYMT Mountain News. Well, both business owners say after the flood, they had people helping them get their stores cleaned up, which they are grateful for. Well, Leatherwood Elementary canceled classes Monday after the district called for an emergency day. The Leatherwood community has been suffering from water outages for around two weeks, with some areas still without water. Leaders say a lack of water volume and pressure have kept Leatherwood without water for so long. Most of Perry County runs off of the city of Hazard's water system, meaning it takes time to fill up the tanks across the county. When you take 40 feet, 40 miles of main, uh, you know, fill those up 10, 12 inches, you're talking uh, 60, 70, 80 million gallons of water that it takes to keep those lines filled and to go into the tanks. So that's the problem. Once you get behind, it's hard to catch up. Hazard City Manager Tony Eversole says crews restored water to all of Mesa's Creek and Little Leatherwood on Monday. Well, the Fleming Neon Water and Sewer post on social media saying a main line has broken on Doctors Hill. The break drained the tank, so several people will most likely be without water. Well, the company says it's repairing the break, but it does not know when service will be restored. A group of young kids from Leslie County had the chance for some hands-on learning in fire safety yesterday morning. Head Start students from Mountain View Elementary stopped by Thousand Sticks Volunteer Fire Department in Leslie County. They learned why they should call 911 during an emergency and how to stop, drop, and roll. We show them what we look like in our plain clothes and um, we show what our gear looks like. Um, we have bunker pants, jackets, helmets, and stuff. We're, we're not a scarecrow. As the old saying goes, scarecrows are scared. 
Well, the fire department has hosted these classes for more than 20 years. Aiming to serve those who serve their communities, six churches from the Corbin area came together to feed those on the front lines. Local law enforcement officials were able to stop by the Corbin Center earlier yesterday to relax and enjoy a hot meal. The churches involved in this event hosted something similar for hospital staff back in 2021, and volunteers say they would love to give back to other professions in the future. We don't want to stop here. Uh, we want to continue to do different things, again, just to love people in the community who don't always feel loved. I know we've already started talking about a way to give back to teachers um, who have been a very impacted uh, people, especially since COVID happened. And um, there's always negative news about them, but we love them and we know that they're on the front line. Well, those involved with the event say in a world that can be so divided, it feels good to create a sense of unity with other churches to give back. Well, thank you so much for starting your Tuesday morning with us here on Mountain News this morning. When we come back, an uncrewed spacecraft begins its journey home after delivering some supplies to the people on board the International Space Station. We'll tell you more about that when we come back. And while we are looking at a fairly nice day today, the pattern is getting ready to take a big turn toward the end of the week. I'll tell you about it in about three minutes.